I'm Robert with Nomium, and we're looking at polls on Zoom, as well as a third-party app that we can bring into Zoom for more polling variety. First, let's take a look at what Zoom does by default. If you're the meeting host, you can create polls in advance. We recommend this option because you can make a poll at any time during the meeting, but it does take time to create that poll. There's lots of polling options. For example, you can choose to allow one answer or you can allow multiple answers. You can make polls anonymous or you can tie them to your users' names. I've got a poll that I've already created. You can see it here on the screen and I can review this question before I show it to my guest. Once I hit launch poll, now my guest can see that. I'm going to wait for my guest to give us some different answers. Whenever I see enough answers come in, I can choose to end the poll. At this point, the guest cannot see the results. It allows me to review them. It allows me to maybe brief the participants before I show them the results. And then I can share those results at any time and I can stop sharing those results at any time. I can relaunch the poll or I can go to poll number two anytime I want. The polls work really well on Zoom, but they are a bit limited in terms of style. So let's take a look at a third party app, Mentimeter.com, or if we're using the chat box, we can just type Menti.com and we can give our polls six digit code to our guest. And if they type that in their browser or they type that into their phone, they can go directly to that poll. Let me show you what this looks like from an administrator's point of view. This is the first question I have on Minty and the results will be added live. I can share this screen using Zoom screen sharing function, but be aware that the participants will also see the results if I'm sharing this screen. What does this look like to a guest? this is what the guest would see in their browser. So as a guest, I could answer, I love it and it's, and I hate it. If I'm conflicted, I can hit submit. And this is what the guest will see. You have to wait until the administrator goes to that next question. We already have some answers coming in. And again, I can choose to share this window on Zoom anytime I want or not share it. As the administrator, I'm going to go to my next poll, which is a two by two grid. Now, this is a good example for if we had four different groups do a project and all of our guests saw them, they saw their speed and they saw the decisions that they made, they can rank both speed and decisions. How does that look to the user? It looks like this. So if I thought group A was really, really fast, but their decisions were pretty lackluster, I might give them that score and I can choose that with all four guests. If I've only witnessed group A and group B, I would choose to only answer group A and group B. We submit. And this is what it looks like to that administrator. So these are some great polling options that we can use in Zoom, and if you have any questions, as always, we'd love to hear from you.